You don't just stop your pep talk when someone's going through depression. You should finish whatever encouraging thing you're gonna say. That being said, if someone's trying to comfort you and be there for you in your troubling times, you shouldn't just walk away or shield yourself. Oftentimes, we don't consider the people that have been there for us or know how powerful the things we say to others can be until it's too late. Over 300 million people around the world suffer from depressive disorders, and that's just the number of people that are willing to talk about it. Many others keep their mental health a secret, either because of the stigma surrounding it or because they're unable to properly identify the symptoms. Close to 800,000 people commit suicide every year, and mind you, not all those numbers are associated with depression or even a mental health disorder, but it's still heartbreaking to think that a person takes their own life on average every 40 seconds, sometimes due to things that are out of their control or even by accident due to, among other factors, self-harm. And that number gets more terrifying when you consider that there are indications that for every adult that dies by suicide, there are 20 more people attempting it. It sucks. It, it sucks to feel like the world would be better if you were dead or if you had never been born. And wanting that pain or that affliction to just go away and be able to actually function socially by work, even sleeping, is something I completely understand and have gone through. Fortunately, there are a shit ton of people who have not gone through that and probably won't go through that in their lifetime. And that's great, but please, I implore you, don't be a part of the statistics I just talked about. I know that under distressed conditions, it's really hard to listen to those who are trying to help. Hell, it's hard to even think straight or rationally, so we act on impulse. And that also goes for people who don't have a mental illness. Similarly, it's hard to keep your shit together when someone won't listen to you when you're doing your best to be comforting, or when you're trying to help. But please, if you're in that position, don't stop trying to help. If you or anyone you know, even if you're not cool with that person, you gotta put that petty shit aside and kindly, kindly tell them to contact a suicide prevention hotline or go to therapy. And it's never too late to make a change because even if you feel like nobody loves you or that you're a waste of space or that nobody would miss you if you were gone, you're genuinely, and I'm saying this as someone who has had these thoughts himself, you're genuinely more valuable than you know. We don't often realize the impact we have on other people's lives, or how much someone loves and appreciates us, and that's a major issue. People don't let the ones they love know that they love them, and I don't understand why that is. Like, it could literally save someone's life to tell them that you love them. And if you don't think that you love yourself, you might be sorely mistaken. Because the fact that all these contributing factors that can cause depression, whether it be because you don't feel like what you do is valued or as cherished as what others do is, or that you don't feel like you're talented or good looking, or you feel like you're an arrogant asshole who has messed up in the past and is doomed to fail, and that people judge you without even knowing you, and you emotionally abuse yourself into thinking that you could lose everyone or everything by having or doing something that makes you happy, the fact that all that leaves you yearning for an escape means that you care and love yourself enough to want a change. And I'm not saying you should take that escape, I'm saying that because you want that change, you care about how you're feeling, and by proxy, yourself. And okay, maybe even after all that you still don't, but that doesn't mean nobody does. Because I didn't just spend all this time talking to you about the risks of depressive disorders to look like I care. It's wrong that we lose so many people because they decide to not speak up about how they feel. It's wrong that so many people feel trapped with only one escape. It's wrong that we don't always acknowledge those who are going through rough times. It's wrong that when we do acknowledge it, we sometimes react defensively.